Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like over on prize picks for the week 10 Monday night football game between the Dolphins and the Rams. We're going to break down two player props I like on prize picks for this game. We're going to talk about a play I like on the Dolphins side and then a play on the Rams side. Um, we're going to break down these plays, share why I like them. Before we do get started though, as always, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, if they do help you out, Make sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to Prize Picks and if you don't have a Prize Picks account, be sure to sign up. Use promo code NOLA. And when you place your first lineup on Prize Picks, you'll get $50 in promo funds instantly added to your account as long as you sign up with that code NOLA. So uh, be sure to go sign up, guys. Check out Prize Picks if you have not yet. And also, I do want to give a quick shout out to Sleeper. Sleeper running a really cool promo right now. If you're someone that does have a larger bankroll, Sleeper is going to give you a uh, deposit match up to $1,500 when you sign up and use promo code NOAH. Typically, their deposit match is up to $100, but for a limited time, you can get a deposit match up to $1,500. So let's say you want to put in $1,500. Sleeper is going to give you an additional $1,500 to play with. So now you've got $3,000 to use uh, over on Sleeper. So if you've wanted to place a larger deposit, you know, it doesn't even have to be $1,500, just you know, something more than $100. You can get your, uh, you know, still get that 100% deposit match. You know, it's up to $1,500 now. So definitely go check out Prize, or excuse me, go check out Sleeper. Again, this is a limited time promo. It's not going to be, not going to be available forever. So, you know, go sign up for Sleeper if you guys have not yet. Use that promo code NOAH. And if you don't know what Sleeper is, they're just a DFS pick em app. Similar to Prize Picks, you're picking more or less on player projections. You're building out your entry. You can make up to an eight pick entry. On Sleeper, you can mix and match sports, and you can win up to 100x your money. So, again, guys, go, uh, go check out Sleeper, sign up, use code NOAA, get your first deposit matched up to $1,500 for a limited time. But let's go ahead and talk through this pl uh, the props I like for this Monday Night Football game, Rams and uh, Dolphins. And the first prop we're going to take a look at that I like is going to be a rush yards prop. And the rush yards prop that I'm liking Monday night is Devon Achan. We're going to take Devon Achan for more than 57 and a half rush yards. So Devon Achan has started to see a, a bigger workload as of late. He has kind of started to take over as the clear RB1 for the Dolphins. Last season, it was kind of a 50-50 split between him and Raheem Mostert. Sometimes Mostert would actually outsnap Achan. But so far this season, Achan has been the clear lead back. And if you just look at the snaps over the last three weeks, 58%, 58%, and 69% of the offensive snaps for Achan whereas Mostert has played 33%, 46%, and 23% of the offensive snaps. We actually saw Jalen Wright get some snaps last week. I think that was because of Raheem Mostert fumbling the ball. They wanted to, they decided to give Jalen Wright some playing time. So, like, I think right now, I mean, A-Chan's role is pretty secure in this offense. Now, A-Chan is someone that they do use a lot as a pass catcher. He did have eight targets last week. Um, he's had eight targets in back-to-back -back games. But they'll still give him plenty of carries, and over their last three games, he has gotten 15, 10, and 12 carries. He started to be a lot more efficient on the ground as well. 77 rush yards on 15 carries, 97 rush yards on 10 carries, 63 rush yards on 12 carries. Last season, A-Chan was like, he was super, super efficient on the ground. He would consistently break off long runs. I think he averaged, I want to say he averaged like five, six yards per carry last year. I'm actually going to take a look at that real quick just to... Just to confirm, but I'm pretty sure Achan, in terms of like yards per carry, he was one of the best running backs last season in terms of yards per carry. So let's see. Yeah, he averaged 7.8 yards per carry, which is actually way more than I thought. Yes, yeah, 7.8 yards per carry was super efficient on the ground. So far this season, only averaging four and a half yards per carry. But his his efficiency has again has been a lot better lately. Five yards, 5.1 yards per carry against the Colts, 9.7 against the Cardinals, and 5.3 last game against the Bills. Now he gets a pretty good matchup against the Rams, who have just kind of been like a middling run defense so far this season. If anything, I think this is kind of a plus matchup for HN. The Rams are not, you know, a scary team to like to run the ball against. I mean, the Rams are definitely a team you, you can run on. So I do like this spot a lot for HN. I think it's a good matchup. If you actually look, the Rams are top 10 in rush yards allowed per game to running backs this season. So a lot of boxes are checked here. The snaps have been trending up. He actually played 69% of the offensive snaps last week, which was the most he had played since week four. You know, Raheem Mostert was out then, but even still, he's been getting big time snaps, even with Mostert active lately. So like the role here for HN, the efficiency started to look really good as of late. And I think the matchup against the Rams is pretty solid too. 
So give me Devon Achan for more than 57 and a half rush yards. And then the other prop that I like is a receptions prop. And we're going to take uh, Puka Nakua for more than five and a half receptions. So we've only seen Puka Nakua play in three games this season. He played in their week one game against the Lions, but he did not play the whole game because he got injured. He played, I want to say, let's see. Yeah, he played 25 snaps week one against the Lions, had four targets, four catches for 35 yards on 25 snaps. And then he was out for like, I want to say five or six games, or actually I think more than that. He was out for like seven games. Then he made his return in week eight against Minnesota, but it was reported that you know he's going to be on some sort of limit in terms of his playing time. He really wasn't limited too much. He still played on 57% of the offensive snaps, but in that game against Minnesota, Nakua looked great. He had nine targets in that game, seven catches for 106 yards. And then last week against Seattle, he got ejected in the first half of that game. He only played 27 snaps before leaving because he got ejected for throwing a punch. So we've really, I mean, we haven't even seen Nakua really play a whole game because the Minnesota game, he was on a snap count. So I think this is finally going to be the first game this season, assuming he doesn't get injured or anything, where we see Puka Nakua play a normal allotment of snaps. When Puka Nakua is healthy, he's typically a guy that plays on you know, 80, 90% of the snaps. The Rams they're not really a team that's going to use a ton of different wide receivers. They're going to play like three wide receivers pretty much the whole game. They did that a lot last season. They've done that this season when you know they've had receivers healthy. The only issue is that the Rams have had a lot of injuries to their receiver core. But if you look like week two against um, or week two when they didn't have Puka Nakua, they played Demarcus Robinson 92% of the snaps. They played Cooper Cup 52%, but he got injured in that game. And they played Tyler Johnson 87% of the snaps. Tyler or Tutu Atwell got a few snaps, and then Jordan Winston got some playing time too. But again, that was probably because of or because of um, Cup's injury. But like week three, they only played four wide receivers on in week three. Demarcus Robinson 93% snap share, Tutu Atwell 74%, Tyler Johnson 50%, Whittington 38%, and then no other receivers got any playing time. Again, when when they when they have their main receivers healthy, Nakua and Cup. You can typically expect those guys to be on the field for a large majority of the offensive snaps, if not close to every snap. In week one, Cooper Cup, when he was fully healthy, he played every single snap in week one. Um, and then last week, Cooper Cup played 92% of the snaps. So I'm expecting Puka Nakua to get back to kind of being that full-time wide receiver. Again, we haven't really seen him have a, a full role yet this season because for one game, one game he got injured in, one game he got ejected in, and then the other game was his first game back from injury and they had him on a limit. Well, now he's had a full week to heal um, coming off that ejection. He didn't really play much last week, so he's definitely got fresh legs coming into this game. I think the matchup here against the Dolphins is a fine one. Um, in terms of like wide receiver cornerback matchups, I'm not exactly sure who Puka is going to see in terms of the, the wide receiver cornerback matchup. But I think we're going to see plenty of pass attempts for Matthew Stafford. The Rams have shown, uh, shown a, willing to, a willingness to throw the ball more when they have Puka and Cup healthy. And you can see Matthew Stafford's pass attempts line is set at 35 for Monday night. If we get anywhere near 35 pass attempts for Matthew Stafford, I think we've got a pretty good chance of getting six catches for Puka Nakua. Another prop that I do like for Puka is more than eight targets. Again, Puka, when he's been on the field this season, he has been earning targets at a high rate. It's just that he hasn't really been playing full games because of you know, what we talked about. But the one game you know, where he played somewhat close to a full game against Minnesota, he got nine targets in that one. So I think that's a good prop too that you could take. Puka Nakua, more than eight targets. But I'm personally going to be rolling with more than five and a half receptions um, as our you know, second play or second prop for Monday Night Football. So that's what we're going to roll with, guys, is our two picks for Monday night. We're going to take Devon A. Chan for more than 57 and a half rush yards, and we're going to take Puka Nakua for more than five and a half receptions. Hopefully we can hit both these props Monday night. We can make some money on this slate. As always, guys, appreciate you watching these prospects videos. Appreciate your support. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you guys are new to the uh, two prize picks, and if you don't have a prize picks account, be sure to go sign up. And when you use promo code NOAH, uh, when you sign up, you'll get $50 in promo funds instantly added to your account once you place your first lineup. So sign up, make a deposit. Let's say you only want to deposit $10, which I'm pretty sure that's the minimum. You deposit $10, you play a $5 lineup. Even if you lose that $5 lineup, prize picks is going to give you $50 in promo funds that you can use to play additional lineups. So go check them out, guys. And again, use that code NOAA when you do sign up. But that's all that I got for this slate, guys. Appreciate you watching. As always, let's make some money tonight, and I will see you guys in the next video.